Well, everybody, how's it going? Looky here, looky here. I don't know where all this stuff came from, but I'll try to explain it. I think part of it's Wilmer's fault and other people. They were partners in crime while I was gone on my vacation the last couple weeks. So that's the haul right there. So let me start. What I'm going to try to do, and I'm not going to say I'm going to do this perfectly, but what I'm going to try to do is do it in chronological order. <laughs> so we'll see. First thing I think I got were these three box cars right here. So I got two Inner Mountains, and they're both KCS, uh, each one a different road number, so that's good. And uh, uh, 50 foot KCS. So I've got a little work to do to these. Uh, these inner mountains, everything's correct except one thing. They're missing uh, the shield. The shield was right up here in the corner on these. And However, Titchy happens to make the decals. So while I was at the train show, and this is a little out of order, <laughs> so while I was at the train show, I actually bought uh, the decals for them so you can see that and that's what I was talking about the shield up there in the corner so I'll actually put the put the shield and I also need to put the uh, ACI label and the COTS label on it anyway so um, same with same with this 50 footer and uh, there's one other thing I have to do I have a couple more of these uh, and Katie only made one road number when they made them so I have to change the road number on it so, not real hard, but that is what I have to do. Okay, what's next? So, the following day after I bought those, I bought those off of eBay, but it actually actually been an eBay seller that lived in Manassas, Virginia, where I was visiting my sister. And that's the first thing I got. The next thing, I met Plumber 33 to do some rail fanning. But he took me uh, to the hobby shops that were in Manassas, Virginia, and there's actually two of them. So one of the things I got was this nice built-up structure from Woodland Scenics. It's a feed, feed and grain supplies. So I was going to build the Walther's kit, but I saw this feed mill all built up and I liked it. I even like the little birds on the on the sign. See that? That's great. The birds sitting up on the sign, the roof and all. Good little touch. And it's lighted already and everything so I'm looking forward to putting that on the layout instead of having to build one. So. And one of the other things I got while I was there, I got ballast. I needed ballast. And I got different different kinds. I got the brown and the buff and the light brown and the iron ore. So the reason I did that is because I mix my own ballast. Uh, the base color is going to be this, uh, the regular gray. But then I got the gray blend to mix with it. And I also got the buff and the brown and the ore to mix with it as well. So I put small amounts of those in with it. And then use uh, the number 50 ballast that comes from, oh, Scenic Express. That's what I'm trying to think of. And I mix a little bit of that in to give you uh, some finer ballast. So that's, I'm kind of make my own own mix when I do that so that's why I bought so much ballast but I'm gonna need it all so I'm not anywhere close to having my layout ballasted so there's gonna be uh, I'm gonna use it that's for sure alright so that's it for Manassas Saturday we headed up to the Timonium train show and boy did I find a couple things so I want to show you uh, the couple things that I got there one of them was this Rapido Penn Central boxcar, and it's perfect for my era. So paint scheme's all correct, and Rapido does an excellent job on their cars, so I'm looking forward to getting that on my layout. I also bought 
this exact reel. I wasn't, wasn't really looking for this car, but when I passed it and saw it on the table, I said, wow, it was just done so well. And it's a 60-foot waffle-sided car. Once again, perfect for my era. And I just, like I said, when I saw it, I just loved it. So I went ahead and bought it. <laughs> Sometimes you have to do that. And next, what did I get? Ah, I found an Atlas 40-foot boxcar. So you can see see how this one's done with the with the shield up here. So I don't have to worry about decaling except for the COTS label and the ACI label. So what else what else did I buy at the show? I bought a wood chip hopper. And that's this Apache Railway. It's not very well detailed, but I'm going to do a few things to it to make it a little more detailed and make it look more like the Apache wood chip hoppers that uh, I've seen photographs of. So correct error though, everything else is right about it. So, And Apache is a little known railway out west, so I thought that would be a nice wood chip hopper for my paper mill. I also Let's see, what else did I get there at the train show? Oh, I remember what. And I hope I'm not making anybody dizzy with the camera. 85-foot uh, uh, flat car with two Santa Fe 40-foot trailers. Just perfect. I, I only have about three TOFCs, so adding, uh, adding one's going to be going to be good and this one is actually done pretty well I like the I like the detail on it so looking forward to getting that on the layout too I found also an undecorated pulpwood car and I don't know what railroad I'm going to make that yet but always need pulpwood cars And, ah, also an undecorated Athern 40-foot blue box. These are, uh, Athern did make KCS box cars like this, but I didn't see any. But I found this undecorated one, correct color and everything. And so I bought another set of the Titchy decals to go with it. So I'm looking forward to putting that together and decaling it. And I think the last thing I bought as far as cars at the train show, uh, actually Uncle Wilmer bought this for me. And it's a KCS wood car, a wood sided box car. Now a little bit out of my era, but what I'm gonna do, I, I just appreciate it so much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a dead siding on my layout and weather this car up to, to look old of course it would have been in that era and just leave it kind of on an abandoned siding and I think it'll look make a really nice little diorama on the layout so I'm looking forward to that and I do appreciate Uncle Wilmer getting that for me now on to more there are a couple more things I got if I can find it, I am going to have to find, aha, this is it. Joe Raider was just kind enough to make me a car for his Black Rock Central. Just perfect. I love it. Done really well. Thanks, Joe. I do appreciate that. We had a great time at Joe's house on Sunday. Uh, running his layout and looking at it it was really nice so I do do appreciate it Joe uh, this is really uh, really a nice car all right uh, the next thing was if I can find it I'm going to have to dig down in the bottom of my 
pile here. Another, you think it's an Atherin blue box. Just a plain old Atherin blue box, but it is not. It's a Crooked River and Easton car. And Dave gave me a little sticker along with it. Thanks, Dave. I really do appreciate it. It was great seeing all the guys there at Timonium at the train show. Nice Crooked River and Eastern. That's going to look nice on the layout as well. Looking forward to everybody seeing these in some of my videos in later days. So, at the train show, we met up with, oh, John Arthur, Nathan DeLay, uh, Raybo Bell, uh, Ron Piskel, I believe, was there, uh, Sparky. Who else am I leaving out? Of course, Dave Thurber and Anthony from Georgia Sun Belt were there, and Uncle Wilmer and his son Buck and his grandson, and. I know I'm leaving somebody out. I'm trying to do all this from memory. <laughs> Joe Raider, uh, Hot Rod Rodney was there. And if I'm forgetting somebody, I hope I'm not. I apologize. But anyway, we went over after the train show went over to Raybo Bell's house and he just had a great uh, cookout for us hamburgers and hot dogs and cheesecake and it was just a fun time and we really enjoyed uh, you know everyone there and talking it was just a great time and he's raised just such a great host so after that we headed to Anthony's house Georgia Sunbelt so we went to Anthony's house. Oh, uh, before before I talk about Anthony's house, I want to do one thing. There's a couple things I bought at the train show that I didn't show you, and that's buildings. I found somebody who had who had built the grocery distributor, the Walthers kit, added a bunch of details, and just did a fantastic job. I had to buy it. And I think I'm going to put it on my layout right about here. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to use it as a rail served industry, but I'm going to put it on my layout probably right about here somewhere in this area. So it'll be, uh, it'll look really nice. I'm just going to cut out a section of my foam, the thickness of the base here, and I just can't say enough about how good of a job this guy did with all the detail and the weathering and everything so fantastic job uh, I found a background building I was gonna build another background building but now I don't have to and also this little shed for for hand cars so um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that somewhere on my layout I don't know if I'm gonna keep oop, that little thing came off I can glue that back on I don't know if I'm going to keep this part on, uh, but this the uh, the little diorama looks really nice. I really really appreciate it uh, getting getting those things. All right, now back to uh, back to Anthony's. Uh, Anthony was kind enough to invite us to his home, and. Something I left back there. Anthony gave us a Georgia Sunbelt Railroad mug. So, Anthony, I really appreciate it. Plus, opening your home up to us and running your layout. Uh, we really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed his hospitality. Uh, he's got a beautiful home and um, just laid out the red carpet, cooked breakfast for us and everything. It was nice operating on his layout. What I'm going to do is, I did not take any pictures at anybody's house. That was kind of stupid of me, but I didn't. So I'm going to put links in the description to people who did. To uh, to Joe Rader, to uh, Wilmers, uh, you know, all the people that did take 
uh, pictures and video while we were there so you can look at those as well if you haven't. Uh, so we headed the next morning after we operated on Anthony's layout in the afternoon, Sunday afternoon, we headed over to Joe Raider's house and we got to Joe's house and he just uh, he rolled out the red carpet for us and we went down and uh, spent some time on his layout and and his layout was just fantastic and I enjoyed enjoyed every bit of that as well and so from there we went back to Pennsylvania uh, uh, Uncle Wilmer and I drove back to uh, his hometown and the next day we went to Nizelkowski's train and I think I pronounced that right train store and I bought a few things there so uh, one of the things I bought is uh, buried somewhere in here now these two cars I think I don't remember whether this core Corvair and this Nova convertible Nova were bought there or were bought at the train show but anyway I bought bought a couple things there as well I bought um, this Athern uh, 40 foot trailer KCS of course just perfect once again and I know I bought something else but I can't for the life of me think of what it was but hey you know what going back to Anthony's I forgot to tell you something about uh, Anthony's uh, Anthony had a bunch of these shorty tank cars if I can get the top off of one of the boxes and I bought uh, that he was selling for somebody and I bought one two three four five six seven of them and there we go if you've never seen these shorty tank cars, uh, they're pretty interesting. So here's one. Uh, they were e either GATX or these hooker chemical ones, and I'm going to have to change some of the road numbers, but that's, like I said, that's no problem. All right. Uh, okay, I think that that's it. Oh, I did buy some wheels and couplers and stuff. So at the train store so you know Uncle Wilmer and I had a great time during the week and from that point on after I uh, you know we, we tried to do a few things it was funny we kept getting thwarted it even snowed and ruined some of our plans but we had a great time we worked on his layout we did the uh, on track Tuesday show and just had a fun time of uh, running trains and fellowship and can't say can't say enough about how much of a great time I had so when I headed home I stopped in Columbus Ohio at a train store and I ended up buying this truck and a 75 Buick wagon and I also found in the bargain bin this wood chip hopper with load so this was a used one but it already has scale head couplers and metal wheels on it so fantastic it's a really nicely done I don't know who did it don't know what brand it is but it's it's very nicely done and slightly weathered so I uh, I picked that up for a steal and I think I bought some some uh, rust powder. So. Oh, and while I was with Uncle Wilmer, we all our plans got botched, but we went into Hobby Lobby and I actually bought a couple things in Hobby Lobby, so it wasn't a total loss. But anyway, on the on the way home, aha, the cat has to see everything too. On the way home, I got to rail fan with Jason the train freak and got to do part of route 66 so i just had a i had a good time on my vacation and i'll be putting up some of the rail fan videos and things like that so uh, be on the lookout for those and once again i will also uh, put up uh, links to to everyone's videos that that was at the timonium train show we just all had a great time 
and I hope I didn't leave out anything because there was so much going on and you know so much good uh, camaraderie and getting together and talking and can't, like I said I can't say enough about those things because that's what makes the hobby really enjoyable so anyway I hope you had a good uh, good time looking at this haul that I <laughs> that I got and look for the other videos soon and I will see everyone later thanks